Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Great to see you. If you're new to the channel, great big hello to you. Please do make sure you subscribe, like and share for more content. Uh, nice fast birds, uh, rising, fixing the wings. Absolutely had a great drive. Most Zero. Of Fantastic bumps. Magic. 50, 60 meter birds. Oh, magic. You gotta come Oh, JP, that was poor. Oh. Well, doesn't get much better than this, guys. We've got great people, great team, great hospitality. Um, what a place. So, guys, we're back. 21-22 season and we are back in style. We are here at the wonderful and superb Betis Hall in Wales. We've got a fantastic 300 bird pheasant day today. The weather is holding up for us. It's a little bit sort of damp. We've got a little bit of rain from last night, but it is dry. Clouds seem to be moving quick, so it looks like we're gonna have an absolutely fantastic day. Great shooting weather. We've got an amazing team. We're gonna have some amazing pictures, some even better videography for you. Stay tuned. Okay. okay. And then, yeah. and if it's still raining, then we'll go on another phone. Yeah. Well, the bull and heifer's on the way, so <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell them to work for her. <laughs> We had a nice one over there, but we missed a couple of really good ones. Good. That made up for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
drive one guys Bettis Hall absolutely superb uh, called the middle we are in a field and in front of us we've got probably trees at about 30 35 meters driving them up over the top plenty of action it's absolutely bloody freezing uh, but thanks to the shooting sock company my feet are nice and warm don't forget to use TGS 10 on their website for your 10% discount just keep your feet warm while you're having a great day shooting First time in the park with the first yeah. The problem is they're, they're, they're really moving direction, changing direction. Freak. As soon as they hear a bang, they're so nervous. Guys, drive to here at Bettis Hall, uh, Pen Widrin apparently it's called. Um, so they're driving them off of a hill, probably about 20 meters. Um, nice fast birds uh, rising, fixing the wings. Absolutely had a great drive here with our wonderful friend from America, Kendra. Kendra, how'd you get on? Perfect, perfect. Took great, a few? great birds, yes. Great few? Good, yes. which is what it's all about, guys. It's all about enjoying yourself, having a great day out in the countryside. On to drive three. We're with some really good friends of the channel, Kendra and Jeff all the way from the States. Jeff and Kendra have got a very close friend over in the States, Dr. Jerry, uh, who was unfortunately affected by COVID in a really big way. And, um, oh, Jeff, maybe you fill us in a little bit about yep. the he, situation. He, he's, he's with a trauma surgeon. He's been in the thick of battle from the very beginning. And heartbreakingly, unfortunately, he caught COVID. I believe the date is February 20th of 2020, one of the first people before they really knew what COVID was. And he was on a ventilator for months and months. Happily, he was one of the few that had been on one and survived, but it has affected him. And he loved his shooting. And after that, as you could understand, his spirits were down. But happily, we were able to put him on to John Paul's channel and it gave him hope, it gave him inspiration. And I'm delighted to say that two weeks ago, Kendra and I, shared a day with him at a pheasant shoot in Maryland. And he looks better than we could have ever hoped and he's back to his old happy self. Well listen, this is a big shout out to Dr. Jerry. Yeah, uh, Dr. Jerry. What we'd like to do is, well done, keep fighting. And uh, what we'd like to do is we dedicate the film to you today, Dr. Jerry. And uh, let's hope that next season, you're not in the States, you're in Wales with us and uh, having a great day.
You asked for driven day, we just thought you meant rain, not bird. <laughs> Come on, ducks, out of the way. <laughs> You're not getting it today. Great partridge. They're quick, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. That caught me well off guard, those two. Look at that coming off the top left, no. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome bird, awesome bird. Nice to try. Absolutely. The problem is they're coming and because they've got the cover of the trees behind them, you yeah, can't actually see there. them until the last minute. That's better. Drive three guys, Bettis Hall. Uh, we've just shot the drive Glam Beckon, which is a sort of a, a, I suppose the only way of explaining it is it's a field on a hill. And then behind that field, there's probably 25, 30 meter trees. They're bringing in the pheasants over the top. Um, this is a drive that's actually quite well known for their partridge. And the partridge here were like rockets, very quick, lots of snap shooting. And the difficulty is with this particular drive is that when they're coming out of the trees behind, they've actually got the, tr the blackness of the tree behind them. So in actual fact, you can't see them until they're on top of you. Um, so it's really good fun, hard, hard work. Have to say, I think I shot poorly. Um, so I'm gonna have to give myself a bit of a shooing for that. But um, great drive. We're getting wet, so no change there to the rest of the season uh, and to last season. Drive four, hopefully is gonna be dry and I'm gonna be on it. Clean up after you. Yeah, because it's so like freezing and I shoot all day. <laughs> yeah. Shot Mr. P. And again. Okay, Mr. Greedy. <laughs> Went, didn't it, Link? <laughs> They're fixing their way, they're gliding, lovely, aren't they? Look at that. Yes. 
Wipe your eye. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolute we were on that one, we said. Oh dear. Oh, it's an absolute belt. Super shots. That's all right. Good. Absolutely. Did we leave enough? Plenty. More than more enough. Than plenty. Couldn't you shoot enough? Or couldn't you shoot? There's more enough. than enough birds for everybody. Oh, and boys. then, you know, the heights of some of those were just mega. Oh. And the nice thing was they were dropping. You front row were banging away, and they were thinking, "Christ, climb!" So they were just going up. <laughs> so for me, it was even better. We had a great time, didn't we, Nigel? We did. We did. <laughs> Nigel well and I were giggling and laughing like two little schoolboys at the back. Sure, they're supposed to enjoy. <laughs> Guys, we have just shot the fourth drive here at Betis Hall called Ivers. Uh, we're in a field, we've got 55, 60 meter trees in front of us. They're bringing the pheasants out over the top. The sun's out. We're in the countryside. We've had an amazing day down here at Betis in Wales. Doesn't get much better than this, guys. We've got great people, great team, great hospitality. Um, what a place. Absolutely loved it. We've had a super day. All the best. It's John Paul, the seated gun, and Hi, Katie's wife. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Are you getting that? <laughs> as long as we've got a branch in the States, that's the main thing. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll definitely do that without fail. You can do a franchise this. Absolutely, and how are you feeling? How are, you, are you getting that? Uh, well, you know, the muscles that haven't been too bad and really damaged are coming along. Good. I'm working out very intensely. When uh, I first got out of the hospital, I couldn't open up a bottle of soda. I couldn't certainly use the uh, lever on a shotgun. Right. Now, upper body has been fine, but a lot of the nerves in my lower legs have died. So right. The muscles are. I mean, I have very little proprioception. I uh, decided to go to the RoboCop roots. Oh, you've gone the exoskeleton. No, well, well, last week I got to do it with a very heavy uh, set of braces. Right. That were molded to my feet, so uh, it's helping a little bit. Good. Well, Kendra and uh, Jeff have been sort of filling me in and telling me how are you getting on and you're back shooting a few pheasant I hear so last week so uh... yeah well at least now you know when I miss I have a great excuse <laughs> <laughs> I like your style but what we've got to do is we've got to get you to Wales next year so you've got to join these guys and we're going to have a day over here and uh, we're going to get it all kitted out for you so there won't be any issues and uh, you can come over and shoot some, uh, I would say some English pheasant, but I'd be, I'm going to get slapped if I say that, so I'm going to say Welsh pheasant. <laughs> right, exactly. Now, if we shoot together as a team, will we have a handicap? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> definitely. 50%. 50 <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, definitely. Believe me, we've seen both of you shoot, and we're the ones that need the handicap. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jeff's been very, very, been very, been very uh, humble there. Good. But I would love 
to meet you at some point. Charles. Absolutely. Well, we'd love to. We'd love to get you over here, and we'll uh, we'll certainly, hopefully, get you on some pheasant and some partridge. We've had a great day today here, so um, we'll say the, the film will be out on YouTube soon, so you'll get to see it all. And uh, Kendra and Jeff are on that film, so you know, plenty to plenty to see, plenty to watch. Good, good. Uh, I watched your videos; they're very nice. Good. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very, very kind. That's very humbling. Thank you. And I'm glad. Um, I'm glad what we're doing's helped and giving you some, uh, giving you some drive and a bit of inspiration to sort of not say, uh, you know, not accept the no because uh, no doesn't exist in my book. It's a bit like can't. Can't doesn't exist. Exactly. No, you. You gotta persevere. You gotta push through it. Absolutely. I mean, I think if I'm going to sport. I probably have about $40,000 worth of clothing from Cordy's. <laughs> <laughs> i got to keep wearing that, you know? Absolutely. You've got to get the wear out of it. <laughs> well, what we better do is we better make sure we get you some days booked in Wales. And I will talk. Absolutely. Listen, you take care. It's lovely to see you. And uh, keep up the fight. And uh, I'm sure Jeff and Kendra will keep me informed of what's going on. Excellent. All right, you take care. See you later. Bye. All the best. We've got another great day coming tomorrow at Plaz Dinham, guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. Kendra and uh, Jeff are going to be with us again tomorrow. So there's going to be a lot more action to come. Take care, guys, and we'll see you all very, very soon.